when the uh, line workers, how do you uh, control promotion without having uh, religious discrimination? And yet keep honoring the Lord with, with what you're doing in the leadership. Right. Um, that is a not an easy thing to deal with. We have a we we have a fairly um, thin layer of management, um, and we do try to promote from within if we possibly can. I will say that in the very top management, uh, there are four, myself and three others, vice presidents. There we would we would want to be fairly certain that we had somebody who was believed the way we do and so on. Uh, we haven't had to deal with that yet because the guys that I have there have come in and have been very committed. Uh, they're there because of the mission of the company as much as anything else. Uh, but um, it is a, something that we do have to be very cautious about. Yeah. I don't know if I answered your question, but it's... Uh, yeah. yeah, we have a board. Uh, I, I'm an employee of the corporation and I answer to a board. And um, so uh, they help us with, with some of those things, too. Have you started with succession planning at this point? A little. A little, yeah. I do have people within the company that can handle it uh, when I'm not there. That's really a board decision. Uh, so uh, while I would be involved with that, probably uh, it would be their decision. as to One of the functions of a board is to choose the CEO. That's one of the main functions. Now, we've got to make sure we have somebody that can do it, but um, that's one of the main functions of our board, anyway, is, is uh, supporting the CEO and choosing a CEO. Yes? Well, um, as, 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 like, on, um, a lot of people have been moving towards like, um, being more green and uh, environmentally friendly. And plastic has gotten a bad rap over the last few years. Has your company experienced that? And how have you um, tried to uh, place yourself away from that bad reputation? Okay, that's a good question. And I get to ask that. In fact, I've already been asked that once today. Um, but uh, think about it this way. We are uh, an industrial and commercial supplier of plastic products. So we, what we sell are, ta as, as uh, we talked about earlier, we sell tanks, polyethylene, polypropylene tanks, uh, bottles, uh, sheet, rod, tubing, fittings. Most of these are used by people who have a corrosive problem. They're dealing with some corrosive chemical. And uh, so they are looking for, and we want to supply them, product that's going to last a long, long time. Uh, and that's something that they have to be very careful of. They're the ones that are responsible for what they order and how they use it. But we try to help them um, choose the right plastic because you can choose this particular plastic and use it for this application and it's fine. But if you take that same thing and move it to a different chemical, it may dissolve the bottle. And uh, so what I tell people, a little bit facetiously, I guess, is would you like to have a chemical stored in your garage in a bottle that was biodegradable in three years? Oh, I never thought about that. And so, uh, no, we are, we are supplying chemicals that are, I mean, bottles that are for chemical usage primarily. Some are for food processing. Um, I do agree that some of the fast food places that are using plastic products where it gets used for 15 minutes and thrown away, I see that as a poor, at least unless there's a way to recycle it, and there are, but it's very expensive. It's more expensive to recycle plastics than it is to use um, what we call virgin plastic, new plastic. And um, so that's the answer to that. Uh, it, it may have affected us a little bit, but not much with the type of pro product we're selling. If we were selling uh, to restaurants and stuff where they want plastic glasses, I'm sure that may affect it some. Well, as our time is as about top, but let, let me say to everyone, if you have some questions, uh, we do need to wrap up.
the chat room for a while. Come on up front. It's okay. And doing some chat, chat casually. But let me uh, close with one, one more question. Uh, most of these guys, well, those who are leaving now as seniors soon, uh, are entering into one of the worst job markets we've had in years in this country. Uh, not a very encouraging thought. Um, some of them are going to grad school, but uh, most are going to the workplace. What, what advice would you give to someone just leaving college today and entering the workplace about uh, their future? Uh, that's a really good question and a difficult one. I don't think I have a good answer for that because we are really in one of the toughest times. In, uh, it is the toughest time that I can experience. Now, there was one other time that was worse, and that was when my father-in-law started this business. One reason he was doing this uh, was that he uh, couldn't get a job, so he had to make a job. And uh, it took a lot, it was a lot of hard work. You know, I've come into the business at a time when it was, <laughs> compared to the way he got started, it was much easier. For a while, they were, he and his wife were living on $15 a week, uh, very, very frugally. And uh, everything that possibly could was going back into the business. And so, um, uh, those were very difficult times. And I don't think we're as bad right now as we, as perhaps then, but I know that those of you who are going out into the marketplace, it, it's not going to be easy for the next uh, couple of years. And if there is a silver collector out there, idea that you could come up with, start your own business and work at it hard. Um, statistics say that it takes three years before a business can be successful, and that's with a lot of hard work and a lot of sacrifice. And yes, plastics was no exception. Um, so, uh, I, and then as Christians, we can depend upon the Lord. Uh, we have had to do that from time to time. There are some times I can remember when cash flow was really a problem. God came through in unbelievable ways and saw us through those difficult times. So, uh, I would first of all, urge you to look to the Lord and then to be resourceful. Thank you. It's been great to be here. I really appreciate it.